I can hardly hear myself speak, and the reason for that, I was going to say, I can hardly hear myself speak, and the reason for that is you guys have arrived. Welcome to London. Thanks. Great, so great. We can do something about the weather for you. It's a bit different. Oh, it's a nice change for us. How often is it that... From all that sun. <laughs> how often is it that two of you are nominated, both at the same time? In an it's not often. It's the first time for us, right? Is there any competitive, uh, competitiveness at home about this? No, no, we're competitive about many other things. So talk to me about each other, then. Tell me what you liked about each other's performances. Um, I thought it was a blistering, raw performance. Um, uh, it's a gut-wrenching performance. It's an amazing performance. What about, it's really, you're really putting us on the spot. <laughs> yeah. what, 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 about, I know. what about Brad and Benjamin Button? Why do you think they picked no, him? Ask him about Burn After Reading. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, I thought Benjamin was beautiful. I think it's I think it's a very difficult to take a character from birth to death, and and especially a character as unusual as as Benjamin is, and, and with all the different layers. All right, that's enough. That was really so good. So he did all right. Really good. He did all right. Let's talk to you about Slumdog Millionaire because that's getting a real buzz. Have you had a chance to see it? Again? Yeah, it's a lovely film. What do you what do you, what do you make of it, Angelina? I think it's a lovely film. Yeah, I think it's I think uh, especially the part the the part that really uh, affected me was when they were children, street children, and, and being blinded and being affected. I know that does really go on, and so it's, it's uh, you know, it's glad issues like that were brought to the attention of people. And it's nice to see it getting some traction in America, America opening up to other cultures in that way. So it's a, it's a nice one. How do you cope with all this awards madness? You know, do you... it. Do we just do it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good yeah, yeah, stuff. Thanks for talking to us. Right, Cheers. Cool. Thanks a lot. <laughs> They were almost on a conveyor belt there. They were actually sliding from left to right as I was talking to them. What you don't see out of the shot is that uh, people are sort of tugging at their, their coats and tugging at my coats and tugging at my jacket to move them on. So we got them for as long as we could there. But uh, that's what the fuss is about. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie both nominated here on the BAFTAs and uh, have really set this, uh, this is event alight, really. I think they're just a reception when we turn and get out of the car. It was madness. But they are still going mad down there for Mickey Rourke. Okay, Matt, thanks very much indeed. None of us can hear ourselves think, let alone speak anymore. However, there